anyway, what can I do for you, Dan? Hey, you know, I'm already starting to miss the show by like the afternoon of July 3rd, and it's your first day off. <laughs> and so I'm sitting at home, it's July 4th, and I'm watching this LAX shooting that's going on. It's live on CNN. And hey, by the way, did you hear about that? That was unbelievable, Robin. Oh, I don't know how sequestered yeah. you were. Yeah, but no, I did hear about that one. It really made me sad. Well, I'll tell you what freaked me out. It's, it's like I'm sitting and watching TV, first day of vacation, and they go, a guy walks into the airport in L.A. and shoots two people at the El Al, which is the Israel, Israel uh, airline. Ticket counter. They go, but we don't think it's terrorism. And I'm, I'm sitting there laughing. I'm going, what don't you think is terrorism? In front of El Al? You, you the guy don't... just starts shooting. He doesn't know anybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to then they, they announced about 15 minutes later, and he's an Egyptian. But what? we never heard him say anything bad about the Jews. What could it be? But he did. He did. He was very much uh, against the American policies. We have trouble calling it a terrorist. <laughs> yeah, it's always a t we had a terrorist attack, and no one wants to call it that. And then, oh, and, and were you watching CNN when that uh, phone call came in? No. It was a phony phone call. During the, let me see if I can. Uh, it was unbelievable. I mean, it's, it's a bad time to be making jokes, but holy cow. I couldn't believe this one. Wait a second. Let me see if I got it on tape. I don't even know. This wanna... is during the LL shooting? Yeah, incident? during the LL shooting incident. Here, here you go. This is uh, Joseph Bootsky, if you know what I mean. Yeah, here you go. Jesus. Listen to this. I mean, it was fun. Take away the murders. Right. And it's, you know. You, you know, eliminate the death. Yeah. <laughs> Joseph Butsky was somewhere near the proximity of the shooting taking place outside the LL ticket counter in the Tom Bradley International Terminal. He's on the phone with us now. Joseph, can you hear me okay? Yes, yes, Frederick. All right, about where were you in relation to the shooting? Well, for really good, my wife and I, we were about, we just checked in. We just checked our bags, and we were maybe 20 feet away from this guy. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, we, we turned around. We heard gunshots. We turned around, and we looked. And it, it was a white guy with a ponytail, a little overweight, and he, and he just kept yelling, you know, Artie took my job. Artie took my job. And I have no idea what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. and, and he just started shooting everybody, and then he just started telling bad jokes. And I, and I, and so the shooting took place, and this alleged gunman continue, continued to yell out things, and uh, I'm sure people were screaming and running at that point. Yeah, people were running all over the place, and, 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 and it just, the guy, he seemed to be upset the fact that Artie Lang took his job on the Howard... Why would he shoot somebody over that? Mm, okay, Joseph, well, uh, when you, you had, you were about 20. Okay, well, hold on for a minute, Joseph, and we'll continue with your story in a moment. Yeah, sure you will. Frederick, was uh, having a little trouble catching on. Joey Boots was Yosef Bootsky. Yeah, I like Bootsky. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... At first, I wondered where he was going with the fat man with the ponytail. Yeah, yeah they, he suckered everyone in. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, the fat man with the ponytail was screaming, how could Artie Lang take my job? And, <laughs> yes. and telling bad jokes. So that was, and then some guy, I was watching some other guy on TV screaming that I should be held responsible for Yosef Bootsky's phone call to CNN. And I went, what do I have to do with you it? You weren't even on the air to talk to Yosef Bootsky. Yeah, I, don't, I, I don't know anything about the Yosef Bootsky <laughs> phone call. I'm on vacation, dude. My mother freaked out because she thought the guy was really yelling that. Oh, <laughs> About Artie Lang. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I said, my calm down. Uh, Artie, you got some people killed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Artie, you taking that job has had uh, international consequence. My mother honestly was like, oh my God, this is going to be horrible. <laughs> oh dear. You know, you really have to spell it out for people, you know, to tell them that that was a prank call that some people don't pick up on and nobody cut in this time and said it was a farcical call. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lest anyone think. Yeah, yes. every once in a while you need an Al Michaels around to uh, <laughs> alert you. Well, three days later, newspapers all over the country, all over the world were still printing that as an accurate eyewitness account of what went on. Were they? I didn't see that. I never saw that. I've seen on the internet dozens and dozens of articles from all around the world. He's right, Howard. Uh, I think the London Times printed it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, Yosef Bootsky. <laughs> Yosef Bootsky, eyewitness. But a uh, terrible uh, incident. And, of course, 
anybody with half a brain knew right away that this was terrorism.